a devastating blow to a Northeast Heights cafe after a fire last weekend forces them to close down. And fire crews say what they used to keep customers safe may have been what caused it. News 13's Madison Connor shows us what happened. We actually got the call around 2 in the morning. I panicked instantly. April 1st was no joke for Borough Cafe co-owner Mandy Wen. My chef Teddy had actually messaged us and I woke up to that message that there had been a fire in the cafe. That fire started here in the washroom, closed off from the rest of the restaurant. We kind of benefited, benefited from the way the build out is set up um, because it was able to be contained to the room. While the layout saved the restaurant, it also is a big reason for the entire cafe now being closed. Crews have to come in and not only fix damage from the actual flames, but also the smoke and soot. It sent plumes of smoke out over the entire restaurant. Anything that smoke and soot touched, like food, utensils, and takeout materials, needs to be tossed. The chemicals from that fire can actually corrode equipment. Meaning thousands of dollars lost, and at least 20 grand just for cleanup and repairs. That process right now just feels very overwhelming. Investigators believe the fire started from chemicals they and many other businesses use to clean. The theory, the working theory right now is that our, our cleaning rags spontaneously combusted. Um, with the chemicals that we use to clean the restaurant, um, sometimes if those get too compressed or get too warm, or I, I have I'd heard that that can happen. Wen says she's followed every rule when it comes to maintaining a clean and healthy business environment. These are things that we're required to use to clean because they're, they're safe to clean. They keep things sanitized. I mean, it's what I think, imagine, almost every restaurant uses. Owners are planning to figure out a new process for cleaning and their rags, but for now, their mindset is on cleanup and reopening. You know, as a family, our income kind of relies on this restaurant, so when we have to close for an extended period of time, it really does impact us. Madison Connor, KRQE News 13. One says they don't have a GoFundMe set up, but would love for the community to come out in full force when they can open again. Right now, they're not sure when that will be.